hey uh, welcome back to another interesting video uh, so today uh, we're gonna see the development design of uh, a unique uh, table uh, which I have get it from the Pinterest but this looks very interesting to me so let's gonna practice the same thing uh, now I'm um, just start with a, a friend plane and I'm gonna draw a structure of the table I mean the pipe which we are going to do now so I'm um, just make a center line for the reference and now we're gonna do a, a rough estimation of the structure and same thing from the center line so uh, we'll make this and this to be a center I mean if select you will be getting the mid so midpoint so now uh, we both select the we both the means both the lines being selected and overall we'll decide to go with a T inch and the height of the table could be a 20 and extra 5 we will add so overall like 25 we will decide but now for now we'll have 20 and go with the fillets yep so we'll make 5 inch so it looks good to maintain that in the corners yep so now uh, the frame is ready it's uh, like quite simple but uh, at the end you feel like you know as you see in the thumb line it looks like unique so go with the weldment uh, and go for a structural membrane so it depends like uh, how, how the size you want so i uh, will be selecting a uso pipe and uh, size you can be selected various and also being customized by after selecting this you can uh, by just selecting the options you can even customize later so uh, we'll go with the group but still let me try uh, this by adding the material of group and the other group would be this one so that automatically this will get trimmed according to the profile so um, let me make little uh, plain white uh, in the background and sketch I don't want now yep Probably I will hide this and the temporary area. Yeah. So uh, the frame is ready. Uh, the thing is like uh, so we need to combine the one frame which I would like to make this as a single frame, and the other one could be the the middle one. So this all uh, one two three four five will make as a single uh, entity. Yes and this middle will be a kit filtered so at the end like you can take us a, a pipe of this and define i mean like unwrap length and just you can bend it like a kind of a u shape as, as per the dimension like 30 by 20. so now i'm gonna uh, rotate uh, this body uh, to me i would like to have by having this reference around 50 degree Minus. okay let it be the way and <coughs> this one see uh, this is a again a kind of a design but still like we we can make a little more uh, difference in this by keeping the same reference of the axis uh, and gonna select a 15 degree perfect so at the front side if you see this will be like that yeah access we will uh, hide for now and uh, we'll go with the uh, plane yes stop and uh, we'll select another <coughs> sorry uh, 5 inch as we decided before like we would like to have a 25 overall height so I uh, will be going with this another 5 uh, so this plane will help us to make the, the base of the part straight profile so that's why we just create this plane the other extra plane on the base so now uh, we're gonna select this face so uh, this could be a, uh, an option where you can uh, make uh, a steel or uh, even uh, the wood will make a more aesthetically uh, uh, good uh, combination of this design so uh, that's why I'm just gonna do that so uh, because this both are uh, same plane so I'm gonna use the same uh, face to create both sketch at the same time so um, then I will go for up to a uh, surface and I will be selecting this plane as my reference so where you can see this flat surface 
So this is a 15 degree angle from that particular D on the perpendicular so that we can use this. So now uh, again, uh, so we'll make this as a, a transparency. And uh, so in order to make this little uh, fitment over there, uh, so we will uh, we will try to hide for now. Okay, sorry, hide this and this for now. Oops, okay, I will hide to the box extrude and I will go on and select this inner profile. You can make a clearance like as per the size of your part like 0.1 or mm clearance but you can just make a clearance i'm just making a exact fit of like around 5 mm or or a 0.1 inch or a 0.2 will make good difference and we're gonna merge with the the two bodies of this boot yes this is my reference want to do that yes this too i will be enabling yep so um, hope you got my point uh, like i am got an idea of, like how this has to be done like yep so uh, now i will uh, remove the transparency for now and or i will give this fillet over to make a little more smooth yep point one that makes a little so that while entering into the hole it makes more easier or you can also use a, a, a chamfer yeah so now this side or uh, the other side is ready on the two foot the other one is from this side we're gonna make the same I'm just gonna do a copy the sketch I'm gonna extrude up to the surface yep perfect and now I will hide I'm gonna do a sketch but this time I know the diameter like from here it will take so 0 0.801 okay it's, it's almost same but I'm just gonna show another option like no point eight zero seven and make this both our concentric Yes, good. And I will make this point two out of the surface. I want like point two, yes. And make the fillet of point one. Yeah, good. So uh, the thing is now ready, uh, and will uh, enable other. I mean, the body from the catalyst. Yes. So, so now the frame is ready. We'll all uh, remove the transparency. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, now uh, the topmost, like uh, in order to place the wood on the top, uh, so the frame is ready. So uh, we need to give a little more support for the foot. I mean, uh, for the uh, for the top uh, to mount with the structure. So uh, I'm gonna create a one more plate on the top by doing this right plane. I'm selecting the right plane. I'm gonna draw enough of uh, a support. This has to be welded um, into the tube. Uh, so uh, on top of that, uh, I'm gonna create uh, around 0.2. Would be a decent enough. And uh, yes, we'll make a center line and try to make a symmetry over there so that it will side. We will be having an eventual dis I mean uh, distance. Yes. To make sure while welding, uh, you just try to maintain the some distance of that. So five inch, and we'll make okay. We'll we'll draw one circle, intersection curve. Use this intersection curve to draw a circle and make this as into a, a center line or a construction line. Make this too as a tangent. So now your sketch is constrained. Always make sure the sketches should be constrained so that whenever you want, like you can play around with the dimensions. Yes. So I think four inch should be fine yeah yes so um, now we'll do extrude so this is our support plate this will help us to uh, support the top wood on the top of this uh, you know uh, plate i mean um, yeah uh, so we'll make 150 is too much i know because we have selected only uh, 30 so it will be like 35 something like that or 
I think of 32.5 will make little sense or even 30 should be fine yep 30 will go with the 30 of the same yes or even 25 should be fine yeah and we'll make okay yes so now this base top is I mean the support is ready uh, for the top and now uh, <coughs> we'll have to make a four holes yes so uh, for that I'm gonna draw a line to make sure the centers are ready okay so now we'll make a, a wireframe uh, view to make some holes yes this should be a threaded hole or a, a free hole so um, uh, we'll make 20 that makes sense uh, a free hole will help to uh, decide the hole i mean the in the fastness which you are going to use and in top of that anyway you, you're gonna do a, um, a, a wood in that we can make a self tapped or something like that okay 2.5 uh, let's see like uh, we'll select this to as a symmetric and also uh, we'll make uh, this 0.5 inch yes and both holes should be on the mirror on the other side i'm gonna select the mirror line in the top so that it will be one other way so uh, now the holes are ready i will make a through uh, through all both sides so i want a hole on the both sides i mean throughout this so this should not affect the other frames okay now the frame is ready uh, so only thing is like i just need a fillet on the bottom so I have to give individually since it's all bodies are uh, 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 multi bodies so I have to give uh, three uh, times the fillets to make sure to get all the food so now food looks unique and also you know it's not a unique it's like a aesthetically it looks good and now we'll make some color over there to maintain you know, however like it's up to you uh, like I, I will want to do with the uh, thumb line what I'm shown to you so I will be selecting the same so even for the metal uh, so this all the metal so which I would like to have a green and in the bottom uh, I would like to have a wood uh, texture uh, since we're gonna do with the wood so uh, you can just select the wood uh, like by this appearance go for a miscellaneous sorry uh, organic and go for wood in that uh, you just select a texture to this yeah maybe yes <coughs> sorry so now uh, this is ready and also you can just make the the mirror version of so um, uh, to me uh, i could have 10 inch or 12.5 um, inch and that i would like to have mirror this part let's see like how this looks okay sorry uh for that you have to select the mirror plane and go for the body to mirror and select all the bodies so then we select okay good so, oops <laughs> i forgot the the food which the side yeah fine so uh the overall uh the table looks like this like in the top we, we can just make a, a, a wood a profile something like this yes i'm just gonna, gonna roughly make uh someone want to meet any dimension over there so uh, just to want to show uh, how the aesthetically it, it looks um, just curious to see this also you, you can just have a different designs like uh, for you um, however you want like so it looks and um, you just hide and you can make a little more simple like how 
it's all up to you but this is a way uh, where we can make a pipe structure by using the weld mat so i uh, hope you like this video and definitely uh, make sure to uh, subscribe to my channel so that it that's will boost me to create more such videos and also i will help in a lot of ways to capture all solidworks features in my uh, many other like past and future videos so uh, thanks for watching uh, i will keep posting the new uh, videos related to furniture or work many uh, uh, various industries thanks bye bye see you in the next video